It's time to do a video. This is the Gigabyte Intel Z68 overview video. We're not just going to talk about one specific product. We're going to talk about all the new technology that's going into the Z68s and all the new cool technology that's going into these Gigabyte boards. I guess that's going to be our, uh, our point of specificity here. There's some really cool things going on in these boards. Let's start with the Intel Smart Response technology. Now, what is this? Have you heard of this, Eric? You, I think you might have. <laughs> this is a really, really uh, cool thing that they've done on the Z68 boards. Now, before, if you wanted some speed uh, and you wanted some storage, what you could do is you could get one of those hybrid hard drives that has the SSD and the standard hard drive built in. You would get a boost in speed. Intel said, you know what? Why don't we allow them to pick whatever hard drive they want and whatever SSD they want and still get a boost in speed? Here's the way it works. You have your regular hard drive, whatever, one terabyte, two terabytes, 50 terabytes. Do they have one of those yet? Yes, I'm, I want one. Order one. 50 terabytes, whatever you got. Put it in there. Then you put your SSD drive in there. Then you install the software that comes with this after you install Windows. Oh, by the way, when you're installing Windows, make sure you go into the BIOS and change the uh, SATA mode from IDE to RAID. That's all you got to do. Install Windows, go into Windows, install the drivers. You following this? After you install those drivers, you can enable Smart Response. Then your regular hard drive will use the SSD as, um, I guess, a caching device. So what that's going to do is it's going to really boost your speed. They're advertising up to four times. And um, here's a little something I stole from one of the Gigabyte videos on the web. Uh, take a look at this video. All right, we're opening up a ton of programs here. And this is a regular hard drive, 7200 RPM, Solitaire, Mahjong, Windows Media Player, Adobe Reader. We're opening up Media Expresso, tons of other things. Photoshop Elements is a pretty uh, hefty program. We're also opening up PC Mark Vantage. A regular hard drive, 38 seconds with smart response using the SSD to cache this. These things open up in 6.6 .6 seconds. That's ridiculous. This is like L4 cache for your hard drive. Now let's talk about what is specifically cool uh, with these Gigabyte boards. Touch BIOS. Now, Touch BIOS is, um, you've seen a lot of these motherboard companies, they do a, sort of a BIOS inside of a GUI in Windows and you can go and change a few things. A lot of these are very incomplete and I end up in the award BIOS doing all my tweaking. Well, I was skeptical with touch BIOS at first until I looked at it and realized that it's very easy to navigate. I mean, it's uh, almost like an Android or an i, i an i app. Is that what they call them? i apps? I don't use that stuff. Just an app. Just an app. You know, it's got the icons and everything like that. But the cool thing is, thanks Gigabyte, you can do anything in the touch BIOS. You can, every single feature that's in your regular BIOS is in your touch BIOS. And you can do that right inside Windows. That's very, very cool. That is like insanely cool. Uh, what else is cool about these Gigabyte boards? Driver MOSFET. It's just a really, really efficient uh, way to, to regulate the power going to the CPU. It keeps cooler. It's uh, extremely stable. You can see that both of these motherboards are covered in solid state capacitors, register 50,000 hours from Japan. So that's the best as far as that goes. And uh, they're gonna be extremely stable when you're overclocking. I do wanna mention the big guy, I don't have it right here, but their, um, I guess their flagship motherboard for the Z68 line is the uh, GAZ68X UD7B3. I wanted to mention that one because it has a 24 phase power design. It runs really cool. It's very efficient and it's amazing for overclocking. I looked at some reviews online, I haven't tested it out myself yet, but all the websites are giving it like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, everyone's recommending it. So that one looks awesome. It also supports three graphics cards, 16, 16, 8. So take a look at that one. All right, now let's talk about the uh, two different lines that Gigabyte has here. They have one with uh, discrete only, uh, graphics card that is, and then one with built-in uh, GPU virtualization. They call it uh, Lucid Virtu. Virtu? Well, marketing terms, but you know what? If it does something cool, I like it. What does it do exactly? Well, with this line, you have uh, onboard graphics, and you can also run a dedicated graphics card. But to save power when you're doing something like in Windows, when you're, uh, I mean, even when you're watching Blu-ray and that sort of thing, it's going to render onboard. And as soon as you need a little more power, maybe you're using CUDA, you're uh, editing something in Premiere, or maybe you're playing a video game, it uh, turns on the dedicated solution, it uses more power, but you get more power. <laughs> Makes sense. Doesn't it? I want it to make sense. That makes sense, Eric? You're having an asthma attack over there? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
Excellent. So um, I guess that's pretty much the video. The Z68 is the new platform of choice for Sandy Bridge, and I love what Gigabyte is doing with their line of motherboards. Please send me one of the UT7s, guys. Gigabyte. I'd love to get my hands on one of those and see what it can really do. Thanks, guys. See you next time. For more information on the Gigabyte Z68 motherboards uh, with and without the onboard video, go to TigerDirect.com and simply type Gigabyte space Z68 into the search bar.